Hey everyone, it's Melina, and this is my match reaction of Brentford versus Arsenal. Honestly, where do I begin? To me, we're Arsenal Football Club, and we got battered and screwed by a newly promoted team. And to me, it's just not good enough. It's the same old Arsenal. And to me, this comes down to Arteta, because everything you did in preseason, you put behind. There's no style of play that you brought on that pitch tonight. And to me, you got to take full accountability for it tonight, because you threw those youngsters on the pitch, when you claim that Aubameyang and Lacazette were ill, that's fine. But these youngsters, to me, just don't look ready for it yet. Pepe had a good game, but for me, Balogun just didn't look up to par yet to be playing tonight and to be starting. There was way too many under-21 kids starting on the lineup tonight. And to me, we had a full preseason. There's no excuses whatsoever. These players should have turned up. And we looked like we were the championship side. Um, getting into the game right away, Brentford looked way too comfortable. They were playing high line, attacking, pressing football. And, to, and what did we do? We just sat back, let them press, press, and press, and tear us apart. In that midfield, we had no intensity whatsoever. And just as usual, we had no in intensity was always an issue for us with this team. And to me, there's just no improvement whatsoever. Everything we did in preseason when we played against Chelsea, when we played against Spurs, we left all that behind just to go starting off the Premier League opener with a very, very woeful performance on the pitch tonight. And to me, I just can't back this and I'm not justifying this tonight. Brentford looked really comfortable against Arsenal today. It looked like they were so comfortable in the second half when we started to build a little bit of intensity when Saka came off came on and Martinelli came off the pitch, I wanted to see us improve that back line and that defense. And that first goal um, that Brentford had was because of very, very, very poor keeping by Bern Leno. And to me, it's not only Bern Leno, but that fault also goes on Pablo Mari. Leno should have been protecting his box and doing what a goalkeeper should be doing best, covering your side of the post. Leno has very poor distribution, and to me, it just shows us the urgency of why we need a goalkeeper. Chambers is really poor at defending. Tonight, it just wasn't his game. A goalkeeper should always cover their near their post, and tonight, Leno just showed why he's not good enough and why we need a, goal, a new goalkeeper urgently. To me, that should be our top priority right now. Now that we've signed, uh, we're going to sign a cam. Right now, our urgency is a goalkeeper because we don't even know the situation with Leno. It's up in thin air. Leno should not have left so much space. There's very poor communication between Leno and Chambers. He should have not been letting the ball go too far near his post. And, you know, we really needed a goal. And what did Leno do? Again, trying to play out from the back. It just doesn't work for us. Brentford were pressing us so much that Pablo Mari's pace was just not built for that. And we know that from games like Chelsea when we played them in preseason. Um, Brentford looked really c comfortable against us. And to me, our standards have, have stooped so low to another level. Pablo Mari is just not good to the with the ball, not fast enough. He's just too slow. And Leno, you know, not being able to keep up with that high line pressing football. Um, Brentford looked more confident tonight. You know, when they were playing out from the back, they were playing for a longer time in this style of play, and they did it in their preseason as well. Even in the championship, they did play like this. We shouldn't have gone into the game, you know, struggling this much. And we thought, you know, when I saw that lineup, I thought, all right, the youngsters are going to be given a chance to shine and prove themselves why they should be starting more games. But tonight, the youngsters were just not ready and just not up to par. And to me, it felt like Arteta threw them in the fire and didn't know what to expect. And, and you know what? Let's be real here. We do not have an experienced manager. Um, Arteta had a preseason, but to be honest, we weren't look, looking any better than we were in preseason. And you know what? That's really concerning for me. Um, Party carried us in preseason, and now that Thomas Party is injured and with Gabriel out, with Eddie and Kedia out, we're really struggling. We're not creating any chances. We were just passing the ball around. No one making an intense run on the pitch. The only player I will give credit to tonight is Sambi Lukonga and Pepe and Kieran Tierney for trying. Kieran Tierney put really good crosses. Sambi Lukonga looked really calm on the ball, not afraid to make those runs and make those crosses, but he just didn't have anyone to do the job for him and to put the ball through 
on goal. Sambi Lafanga made really good chances and even had a shot on target. But to me, tonight is just woeful and really shows us what we should be after on the market and getting our business done in the last two weeks of this transfer window. Tonight is just not good enough and I'm not backing this. Um, moving on to the rest of the game, it's really hard to back these kind of players, players that are over the lack of ambition in our squad. To me, some of these players just don't look like they have any ambition whatsoever. Um, it looked like everything we learned in preseason just went out the window and Arteta took that style of play that we had in preseason, you know, trying to keep up with teams that like to press us like Chelsea. The way we did in that Chelsea game in the preseason tonight against Brentford, we got ripped apart. And you know what? Let's be real here. It took us 10 minutes each time to just get into the box. Every time we wanted to create a chance, every time we wanted to create an attack, it just took us 10 minutes to get to get back into the box. And to me, it's just too slow to keep up with a team that likes to play high attacking football. We couldn't keep up. And to me, without Thomas and Gabriel, we couldn't expect much. We put ourselves in this position because we threw everything we learned and everything we did in preseason out the door. And to me, tonight's performance comes down, you know, most of it does come on the, on the manager. But the injuries with Thomas Party and Gabriel with Aubameyang and Lacazette being out really shows us, you know, what kind of team this is. And to me, this squad and this manager is just out of its depth. Right now, our urgency should be on a central attacking midfielder and a goalkeeper. Tonight's game just didn't cut it for me. And we're Arsenal Football Club. So far tonight, we look scared of a newly promoted team. And that's saying the most. You know, Arteta's doing the same exact thing he did last season. And to me, this just looks very concerning going to play against Chelsea and Man City in the upcoming weeks. This is just the same old Arsenal. And stay tuned for more of my match reactions.